Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm out in a western Kentucky field with a John Deere 8520T track tractor and McFarlane reel disc working on spring tillage. We're going to spend some time hearing and seeing this machinery at work out in the field, as well as climbing up in the cab to see the operator's perspective of running a track tractor. To get started, let's take a look at this machinery's specifications. The 8520T was manufactured by John Deere at its Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory from 2002 through 2005. It's powered by a 496 cubic inch 8.1 liter John Deere engine rated at 305 engine horsepower and 255 PTO horsepower. It features a John Deere power shift transmission with 16 forward and four reverse speeds. It has a 130 gallon diesel fuel tank and weighs in at 27,280 pounds. The tractor in this video has the 120 inch row crop track spacing. This was the largest row crop track tractor offered in the early 2000s by John Deere. This tractor is utilizing John Deere's 3000 series auto guidance system. That is the yellow globe mounted on the center of the tractor's roof. It helps the machine make perfect 25 foot passes while running across the field with the McFarlane reel disc. McFarlane is based in Sauk City, Wisconsin, where they manufacture a variety of tillage tools that include primary, vertical, and seedbed preparation machines. We'll take an in-depth look at the reel disc later in the video, taking a look at all of its components and the seedbed that it's preparing.
the McFarlane reel disc can do to make a nice seed bed. This field was full of weeds and grass and was worked up just the night before with a field cultivator which did a great job in tearing up the weeds but it leaves a pretty rough seed bed. We can look down here and kind of see the big chunks of dirt left by that field cultivator with the weeds still in it, not quite ready to plant. Now let's watch this reel disc go over it. see that chopping action with the reel and the disc blades makes a big difference in smoothing out and firming up this seed bed. We can look right down the line. Again, big chunks of dirt versus a nice loose seed bed. Much nicer, ready to plant into. Let's take a look at the setup of the real disc. Up front, there are angled disc gangs to cut through residue and clods of earth. You can see it's got a scraper on it if you get into some wet conditions. On an axle bar, it's a nice job and cutting through. Then behind there, we've got this chopping blade. Very aggressive, does a great job. Just spins around and chops and firms the earth as it's running through it. Then we've got some hanging spike arrows on the back for smoothing out the surface of the seed bed. And then we've got another set of kind of a crumbler set up again, that chopping action to go across the seed bed and we can look right back here at how nice this soil is. Breaks right up. A little bit of moisture in it, ready to plant. Here we can see the results of a finished field worked over by the 25-foot McFarlane reel disc. In our next big tractor power video, we'll take a look at this farm's John Deere 4840 tractor and 16-row 7200 Maximerge planter seeding soybeans into the newly prepared seedbed. I hope that you've enjoyed hearing and seeing this John Deere 8520T and McFarlane reel disc hard at work out in the field. This tractor certainly has a great sound with its chrome stack. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.